Rob, Fuel Fit Kitchen finally broke its silence today, posting on its Facebook page, letting its loyal customers of two years know it is now closed permanently. That news, though, doesn't sit well for those customers who have unredeemed gift cards and for at least one former employee who is still trying to get paid. It's upsetting. I, I really like that job. Honestly, I really did like that job. Up until Zaida Mendez says Fuel Fit Kitchen stopped paying her. And they're like, I'm sorry, I can't pay you either today. I'll let you know next week. And it just kept happening next week and then next week and then next week. The college student says she worked a total of six weeks and only got paid for half that time. I've been working 68 hours and they still haven't paid me for those. Mendez says something didn't seem right from the beginning. She says she didn't fill out a W-2 tax form and says they paid her in cash. Everything just wasn't making sense. But Mendez showed us a text message received from her former manager Monday. Hi Zaida, we have not forgotten about you and we intend to pay you. The text arrived the day after we broke the story of a dozen lawsuits filed against the Omaha-based business, with court judgments totaling almost $300,000. There hasn't been any response yet to the complaints. The Better Business Bureau has received multiple complaints from customers who still have gift cards worth hundreds of dollars. It's very difficult for consumers to, to be able to obviously predict that this kind of thing can happen because it's sudden. Hegarty says Fuel Fit Kitchen has an until the end of the month to respond to those complaints. If it doesn't, the business will get an F rating. The only choice that we have is to refer those complainants to law enforcement. Fuel Fit Kitchen posted this Facebook message Tuesday afternoon. It has since been taken down. The business apologized and asked gift card customers to email them regarding refunds. And so I emailed Fuel Fit Kitchen today after that post. My email was returned to me as an invalid account. So what if you have one of those gift cards? The BBB also encourages customers to file a complaint with the Attorney General's Consumer Protection Division as it can look into possible criminal activity. And former employees can file a wage complaint with the Department of Labor. Rob, back to you. All right, Michelle, thanks. I know you'll keep following this. You bet.